All right, I figured we'd do something different. We're gonna go up in my attic, my barn. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. In the attic of a barn of a landscape snowplow guy that's been in business for 15 years. And this is, ne this is just some of the recent garbage I've accumulated. I need to clean this barn out, but we're gonna go up there and just kinda show you what the aftermath of running a business for over a decade looks like all right let's head up i haven't been up here in years so who knows what's up here but let's go up here take a look and see what what kind of what the aftermath looks like it should be pretty interesting all right let's go all right so we're gonna go up in this barn right here i'm gonna show you what happens I might have to set my phone down. All right, we're up here now. So let's just kind of take a look around. What do we got? Let's just, we'll just start right here in this corner. So we got some boating stuff. Torpedo heater. There's an old boat cover there. some backpack sprayers they probably ended up leaking it's really nothing to do with them once they start leaking they just can't really repair them so they just become garbage check this out I got this tub here we got some old Air Jordans here Jumpman 6 these used to be hot ticket but look how that that used to be like an ice blue clear plastic there. It's all turned yellow. Junk. Got an angle grinder here. The button to run this thing broke off. And there's really no way to turn this thing off and on, so pretty much junk. We're gonna throw all that stuff away. This, this screen right here, this was a backup camera for, I mean, 20 years ago, this was like a really hot item right here. Seven inch LCD screen. Junk. Got some knee pads in here, some chalk line. We've got some old riding boots back here. I don't ride anymore. Junk. We got a we got a Mustang here. This thing might still work, so we'll probably get that out. We got an old checkbook, some old super winch hubs. Some fishing poles. Alright, let's keep going down. This is really crazy up here, guys. Alright, we're back. I got a light. I had to go get a light because I can't use a camera and a light on my phone. But check this out. Old weed eater, old backpack blower up here. You know, what do you do with these things? You pay six, seven hundred dollars, and then something goes wrong, and you can't, you can't really fix these things. You know, it's not worth it. By the time you spend two, three hundred bucks on parts and labor, you might as well just buy a new one, throw them away. But what do you? You don't want to throw them away because they cost so much, but that's what needs to happen here. Look in this box. We got, we got an old buffer. We got an old helmet. That's a really old helmet. Look at that vector. Check this box out. This is, this is a cool one. We got an old Nintendo. This is... 
super old school right here. It says $20 on it from a yard sale. Look, we got... I got the original Super Mario Duck Hunt. Let's look in this box. Oh, Sega Saturn games. Virtual Cop. Road Rash. Toy Story. D. Anybody remember this? D. Games. Bottom of the ninth. Blackfire, Ninth, Soviet Strike. These are old games. Some Sega games. Sonic 2. Dorito. Boxing. NBA Jam. That was a great game right there. Spider-Man, Stargate. Mutant League Football. Sega, Shinobi. There's NBA Jam right there. Take a look at this. Anybody know what that is? That would be the computer out of a Bobcat 763 right there. That's a Bobcat computer. Fried. Might still work, but I just put a new one in because I didn't feel like messing with it. We got some. Old hydraulic hose right there. That's a front wheel off a of Banshee. The old yellow style rim. Alright, let's keep moving. We got another helmet there. This bike here, this was... My sister's boyfriend spec like 20 years ago. This is a power light P17, I think. And there's some more rims from a Banshee, original Banshee rims and tires there off like a 98 Banshee or 90, 90 something. These are, this is the old. Stock suspension off my Super Duty up here. I saved it. Yeah, two. Some siding. Another weed eater over there. This is some crazy stuff up here, guys. Oh, check this out. This is from when I was a kid. This was a Nitro Stampede. Traxxas Nitro. Nitro Stampede gas, little gas, uh, RC truck. Sega. Some original Sega right here. Some controllers and wires. Grinder. Check this out. This was the controller to that Nitro Stampede right here. Traxxas. A 
Look at this. Terminator 2. That right there is off the 763 Bobcat. That's that interlock, that interlock pin thing. When you push the button to operate, that's what that is, that magnet thing right there. I thought that was the problem once and it wasn't. There's more parts. This came with my excavator, all these parts. Look at these old skis. Those are some like 1985 cut and jump old skis. There's an old chainsaw junk. Look, there's some cowboy boots junk. Here's an old steel saw, $1,000 saw, got ran over on the job about four or five years ago. It looks, it looks alright from here, but the whole, the whole back got crushed. Thousand bucks down the drain. Check out this vent. Look at all these bees nests. Hundreds, hundreds of bees nests up in there. In this vent. Alright, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like up in the barn of someone who's been doing this. Someone old like me. It's been landscaping for 15 years. This is kind of what you end up with a pile of junk. I'm going to clean all this stuff out here this spring and try to get rid of most of this stuff. The video game stuff I'll keep. That's Those are artifacts, but a lot of the other stuff we're just going to get rid of. Alright, like and subscribe, tune in, we're going to do more videos like this, some outside of the work type videos, so let me know what you think.